I'm Jonathan Wakefield, the head brewmaster at JWB, and I'd like to welcome you to the office of J. Wakefield Brewing. We started JWB in the kitchen from a simple home brewing project that caught the eye of Joey Redner at Cigar City, who invited us up to brew pilot batches with him on his pilot system, which we then dropped two of those pilot batch beers at Hunapu Day 2010. We released Dragon Fruit Passion Fruit Berliner, or as you guys know it, DFPF. We also released the Pineapple Kolsch, and both of those beers flew off the taps that day. We have now had a commercial release done with Cigar City, the Guanabana Pale Ale, under the Cerveza Frescas line, which will be a continued series of beers that we will be doing with Cigar City. We have also done work with Cycle Brewing. We did the DDT Porter, and we also released the Dynamic Doable Honeydew Melon Double IPA. And beyond the collaborations that we've already done, you guys can expect a lot of surprises coming out of JWB in the future. We plan to launch a full production 15 barrel system in Miami and we are hoping to be up and running by January 2014. 75% of our production at JWB will be for our four flagship beers and all the seasonal rotationals. Of those four flagships, you have Hops in Session, a 6% easy drinking hop bomb in your glass. El Jefe, a Hefeweizen ringing in at 4.5% loaded with flavors of banana and coconut. Mate Bliss, our brown ale made with yerba mate and cacao nibs. Master Blaster, who runs Barter Town? Our porter does, ringing in with flavors of coffee, vanilla beans, and toasted coconut. And what happened to that other 25% of production, you may ask? That's going to be for our Florida Weisses, such as Miami Madness. Miami Madness is a Florida Weiss done with mangoes, guavas, and passion fruit, all local exotic fruits native to the Miami area. We'll also be rolling out other Florida Weisses such as dragon fruit, passion fruit, Austin Millbarge, our Florida Weiss done with Riesling Must, and many other seasonal Berliners that will be using fresh and local ingredients according to the season. So you will always get a fresh and new Florida Weiss. Since Hunapu 2010, we've been involved in more than a few tap takeovers and lots of beer festivals where we've gathered feedback not only from our local customers, but head brewers of major breweries and some major beer geeks out there. Freaking amazing IPA. <laughs> I live in uh, in Jupiter, which is about an hour and a half away from here, and I drive down every single time there's one of these events, and I'm clutching my two glasses of beer here for dear life because it's a mob scene to try to get it. Uh, everyone loves his beers. I think once he gets the brewery going, He's going to take over Florida, uh, him and Cigar City. Um, you know, I mean, as you can see by the crowd, we've been killing it. It's only 10.30 and his, his beer's already kicked in not even an hour and a half. So, uh, big things. I think it's going to be great. Uh, 
there hasn't been one bad beer from him that I've had, and uh, I think everybody feels the same way. And what do you get in return for helping us on this endeavor? We have some great rewards planned for you guys, such as JWB clothing, JWB glassware, and for you bigger investors out there, you get to come in and brew with JWB and help us design the label for this new seasonal that we'll be rolling out in your honor. And all the funding that we receive from you guys will go towards pimping out the tasting room so you guys have a great place to come and drink beer at while you're at JWB. Also, it'll help us fund our bottling line so that we have a greater area of distribution so that people everywhere can enjoy JWB beers. We want to say thank you guys for anything you can help us out with donation-wise. We are very much appreciative of everything we get, and we just want to say cheers. Also, to stay updated on this funding page, you can check us out at Facebook.com under Jay Wakefield Brewing.